Hello, all of you beautiful people around the world. My name is Ryan, aka Say It With Me, Blackbeard TCG. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And if not, hopefully I can make it a little bit better. Now, look, I'm here to save y'all money. I'm here to save everybody money, myself included. Now, let me not be a hypocrite. As you guys know, last set, I skipped buying any product, right? And like in terms of boxes, did not buy any, did not buy any um, blister packs, nothing. I just bought my singles and I chilled out, right? I was able to get singles. I think I spent like a hundred bucks or something or a little bit over that for the um, first uh, for the first week or two, like once all the cards came out. And that was it. And so that was still cheaper than me buying a, one box here in Canada. And if you guys are here in Canada, you guys know I'm not capping because I'm sure you guys have seen the price. Um, so with that being said, you guys should buy singles. I'm buying singles even though I have OPO4 on the way that I've pre-ordered because I want to get my dopamine hit because Queen is in this set. And as you guys all know, I want to play Queen. I've been saying this for a while. Queen will be coming home. Um, so yeah, that's the whole reason for me why I bought this set. However, I'm still going to be buying singles because guess what, guys? If you buy one box, if you buy two box, heck, even if you buy three boxes, I highly doubt you're going to get every single card you need for your deck. Think about it. Some of the SRs that you're going to need, right? Like, let's say I want to play blue and I want to have three copies of this Kaido. Like, sure, I could buy three boxes. Am I going to get three Kaidos? Probably not. I would have to hit the Kaido in every box or get an alt art and then get another Kaido in the same box. You know what I mean? The probability is low. And why would I buy three boxes when this card will probably be like $10 or less um, in a couple weeks, right? A, a week or two after release. Or if you buy it day one, it's going to still be cheap. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's the purpose of this video. But before we get into color by color, what cards you guys need to pick up so you guys can save money, have it in your cart day one before everything gets sold out if you are willing to pay a little bit of a premium. Because again, remember, day one is when the prices are going to be the highest for these cards. Even for the commons and uncommons, fellas, it's going to be expensive because it's day one. However, every single day, the prices will drop. And I'm telling you, one week, two weeks in, the cards, like the commons, uncommons are going to be 10 cents maybe even less for some of them we, we've seen this right we've seen this happen before okay so um don't don't be surprised if day one you might be paying one dollar for a common right do you really want it do you really want to have your playset? do you want your deck finished early maybe there's events that are happening very early on for you guys do you want it we'll bite the bullet if not i highly recommend sit back chill for a week or two and you'll be saving money okay don't fall for fomo if you don't have to if there's a tournament if there's event if there's locals at your locals they're running like a box tournament very early on or something like that and you really want to get your hands on the cards okay i understand but say if box tournaments are like a few weeks out you know there's no real big events that you're planning on attending to chill out and save your money guys straight up so before we get into the card by card thing, as I was saying, you guys are probably thinking, oh, Ryan, here we are. You're going to talk about singles. And so now you're going to talk about OPSingles.com where you could use discount code BBTCG to get 5% off. And look, they already have Kingdoms of Intrigue ready here. They're ready to put everything up for sale day one. You're probably thinking I'm going to say that. Well, no, you're wrong. What I was going to say is 55%. It's gone down from 60. 55% of you guys are not subscribed to the YouTube channel. We're almost at 4K. Let's hit 4K before the release of OP04. You feel me? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump into it. We're four minutes in, and you guys, we haven't even talked about everything. So let, let's go ahead and get into it. The Secret Rares, heavy skip. Do not buy these. Obviously, if you're a VV fan, buy them, right? If you like Corazon, go ahead and buy them, right? So you can buy these if you want to. In terms of metagame potential or anything like that, don't waste your money on these. Um, I highly recommend just waiting, especially day one. These will drop in price. Um, look at the... Wait, hold on. How old is she? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically, these are going to be very cheap. Um, we've seen it happen with secret rares that aren't really used in the past. So don't worry about this. Don't buy these day one 100%. They're not going to be used unless you're playing VV. But day one, why are you going to be rushing to build a VV deck? Just chill out and wait a couple weeks and you'll be able to pick up everything for cheap. So secret rares, you're chilling this set. So super rares are the cards that I would say you want to pick up no matter what. Okay, 
pick up your super rares. If there's any singles that you could buy day one, it'd be your super rares. Now you're going to say, well, Ryan, the price is going to drop. The price is going to go down. Yes, it is. But again, I'm saying this if you have any events and stuff coming up because there's going to be pre-releases, because there's going to be locals where people are going to be opening up packs and all that stuff. Everything else, all the commons and uncommons, people are going to have bulk. People are going to have things for trade. You'll be able to get those. Your SRs are going to be the hard thing. So as I go through the list, prioritize any card that you see here prioritize this first in your cart and make sure you get them okay if op04 is anything like op03 and we have a lot of circulation right off the bat then prices will be very affordable because if you guys if you guys remember in op03 prices were very very affordable compared to op02 and op01 um for the super rares okay so just remember that get your super rares for sure depending on whatever deck you're planning on building so let's go for red so unironically red is still probably the best color in this set um and they didn't really get any cards so yeah you guys are chilling all you red players you don't need to spend any money man you guys are piss chilling um if you want to play vv obviously pick up vv outside of that table manor kit course you could pick up a place out of that if you do decide to play something like this i know i've seen some zero lists running one or two copies some don't run it at all again this is going to just be a rare so at the end of the day i could see this being at max a dollar after a week if that um it doesn't really see that much play so i wouldn't be surprised if it's cheaper than that outside of that pell could be a card that could be played i've seen some people running pell um again pell is not an absolute must um decks are still going to be popping off without it but if you were to purchase anything you could go ahead and pick a pell you won't need it day one Trust me, you won't need a day one. Go ahead and wait a little bit. Even though I, I, I'm kind of contradicting myself about the SRs, we'll get to the SRs that you need to buy day one for sure, but Pell is not one of them. So I'm telling you guys straight up, if you do want Pell, just sit back, relax, chill. This card's going to be worth nothing. Um, and then you guys can pick up Sanji's if you want to. Not a day one purchase, but again, if you do need it, if you do want it, you can. If you don't have Sunny Kuns, um, because this sanji is going to be the one cost 3000 power straw hat pirate that basically would replace sunny kuns so everybody has access to sunny kuns if you don't have it anymore at this point i think sunny kuns at least in canada are like two dollars each so they're dirt cheap but this card's going to be like five cents right so you will you'll never have to buy sunny kun if you could just get a play set of sanjis if you don't have them so i would only recommend you buy the sanji if you don't have um sunny kuns and then even then just wait like a week or two weeks until the set comes out and then you could buy them for five cents each or less or people might just even give them to you for free at locals <laughs> so um yeah if you're red you technically don't need to buy shit day one so yeah extremely jealous of every single one of you you guys will still be able to stomp everybody with your white beard zoro and law decks and you will have to spend zero dollars so congratulations to you guys okay blue players my fellow blue players we are going to have to spend a little bit of money so what do you guys want to have day one um oh also i'm sorry i know uh oh yeah okay my my avatar wasn't blocking this because there's only four cards i know my avatar might be blocking this so let me just go ahead and um I'll, I'll full screen it as needed so that way you guys can see all the cards here um i'm just gonna go through this side here i don't think i missed anything in blue so let's go ahead and full screen this and talk about the cards you want to pick up so obviously rebecca if you're planning on playing rebecca you obviously want to pick up that leader you're not opening up any boxes or anything like that go ahead and pick up the leader it'll be dirt cheap just get the regular art you don't need to get the alt arts unless you want to same thing with queen um app is you're gonna pick up if you're playing nami um this is gonna be a really really nice card in nami highly recommend uh anybody that wants to play nami do so um and get this um who's who ulti sasuke and kaido um these characters are all gonna be good for animal kingdom pirates engines now again i'm not telling you to buy this to play blurple kaido or blurple croc i'm telling you to pick these up if you are planning on playing regular mono blue croc because there's builds that will run all of these so i highly recommend you pick up all of these and as i said prioritize the kaido um i would pick up three copies i'm personally picking up three copies day one um just because i'm still trying to decide if i want to run two or three copies and i don't want to buy two copies day one and then wish i had a third i'd rather just buy three and then i could just play two or play the three or change my list as the format goes on right so that's what i'm doing personally if there's any card i would definitely want day one it's going to be kaido as well as red rock red rock you definitely want to get a play set of you might not run all four copies i see some people running less copies um for me i like three or four more likely uh uh sitting on the four mark here for red rock so you want to have a play set of that and dragon breath twister dragon twister whatever it's called um again some people play it some people don't i think we're still going to be seeing a lot of zoro a lot of law and so i'm picking up four copies of that so um if you're a blue player these are the cards you want to pick up again if you do want to play animal kingdom and all that stuff then of course you could pick up 
the other Animal Kingdom cards here. Um, maybe you could pick up Roki, if anything. Um, but you don't have to because we also have access to Crocodile Vanilla from OPO2, I believe it was. So, same stat line. But if you want to play Animal Kingdom, then obviously you're going to pick up Roki. Okay, so that is it for blue. Let's go ahead and talk about green. So green doesn't have that much. In fact, if you do want to play green and you want to play Don't Feel Mingo, I highly recommend right now you check out opsingles.com and use discount code BETCG to get 5% off your order and help out your boy um, and pick up your 2020 Chopper, Nami's, Brooks, and Luffy. Now, I will be completely honest. They may already be sold out. So let's go ahead and just check this. Uh, yeah, so the Namis are sold out. Apologies, you guys should have used discount code BBTCG for 5% off if you guys didn't already do that. Um, so that's gone. I'm sure the Luffy's are probably gone. Uh, Luffy's not even coming up here. Color type. Why is it only coming up as black? Don't know why. Let's check Brook. Um, Brooks are still available. There's 11 Brooks left. So if you get a play set, there's only enough for a couple people for three people to get a play set. Maybe even not because I can't do math. Four times three. You guys know what I'm talking about. So there's Brooks. Um, I highly recommend you pick a Brook. And then obviously Chopper, right? Um, Chopper is still in stock. There's only eight. So only two people can get play sets of Choppers if you want it. But again, obviously there's other places where you can get it. I'm just shilling this so you can help out your boy, right? Hey, man, I'm a YouTuber. It is what I do. But with that being said, obviously, pick up your film cards from now. But day one, what cards do you want in your card day one? Obviously, if you're playing Doflamingo, pick that up day one. I, I shouldn't have to explain that. Um, but, and then Isho, I don't think he's that good. If you want to play him, you can go ahead and play him. But main thing is... Pick up your 10 cost Doflamingos day one and pick up your spider webs. If there's anything, say you already have your film cards. If you're planning on playing Doflamingo, of course there's purple. We'll get to it later. But those are cards that, again, you can already pick up. Anything in this set that you guys need to pick up if you're playing Doflamingo, get your four Doflamingo, get your four spider web. You are chilling, okay? You don't need anything else um, right, right now. Um, of course, you know, uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Where's sugar? Why do I not have sugar on this list? I do apologize. I'm an idiot. I apologize. I can admit when I'm wrong. I made a mistake. Sorry. You need Doflamingo, Spiderweb, as well as sugar. I don't know why I did not have sugar on this, so I do apologize. But hey, at least I didn't upload the video before doing it. I do this all in one take, and I'm doing it all right now off the top of my head, okay? So I apologize, but look, I cracked myself. So there's a the sugar. Pick up sugar, pick up Doflamingo, and pick up your spiderweb. These are your main cards. The rest you can already purchase, okay? These are day one purchases for sure. These will be sold out. I guarantee you early on, sugar and Doflamingo will be will, will, a little bit. Cannot speak. They will be sold out because Doflamingo is going to be a leader. A lot of people are going to want to play. It's something new. People are going to want to pilot him. And so people will be buying these in droves, okay? So um, pick them up while you can if you want to play Doflamingo, especially very early on. But again, obviously, as the set goes on, you'll be able to pick them up. Okay, next up is purple. I'm sorry, purple bros. Um, there's nothing for you guys to pick up other than Miss All Sunday, right? Um, Miss All Sunday is the only thing to pick up in the set. Everything else you guys can pick up from Starter Deck Kaido. You can pick it up from Starter Deck Film um, or any other previous set, right? Um, get your uh, Fiestas, your Shikis, your uh, your Utahs or Uta. I don't know how to pronounce it, man. Uta, whatever. I didn't. Whatever, man. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Miss All Sunday is the only card that you guys will need to get in this set. Everything else you could just pick up on the side. Union Armado, again, if you want to pick that up, you can. Thunderbago is going to be the starter deck. Douglas Bullet. Douglas Bullet, you're not playing in purple, um, green, Doflamingo. I just put Douglas Bullet here as well as uh, Binds here or Bins here just for uh, purple Luffy for the next set. Um, so just buy it while you can, while it's still cheap, right? Because once... Uh, per all the OP purple stuff comes out what once all you purple bros can truly pop off when the purple stuff comes out Then that is when these prices will go up. So just take advantage of them now, right? Um, and pick up the Douglas bullet pick up the bin the bins um, But yeah, these purple cards are ones you're definitely gonna want um, for film uh, If you don't already have them, so that's it for purple outside of that if you guys are playing Magellan again, if you want to play uh, purple yellow croc I don't have to go over this. If you want to play Iceberg, you pick up these cards, right? That's self-explanatory. But do you need to pick these up day one? You do not, okay? 
don't because these cards are going to be worth absolutely nothing because a lot of people aren't going to be playing this so just wait okay i know fomo all that stuff you want to have your cards unless you really like maybe you've just been really really waiting for water seven support and you can't wait to bring your iceberg deck to locals pick it up by all means don't let me stop your your fun i'm just advising you if you want to save some money it will go down in price significantly for those cards specifically okay so that's it for purple. Let's go over to black. Rebecca, you're basically buying the full Rebecca deck. I'm sorry, bros. Um, you guys are going to have to spend some money. So am I. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Now, again, any card that I would have to save for you to absolutely prioritize is Sabo. Um, Sabo's probably going to be the most expensive card for this deck because Sabo is played in other decks. Sabo will be played in Smoker. Sabo will be played in... Any black deck, really. It's going to be played in Sakazuki in the next set. So picking it up now while you can will be good. But day one, there's going to be a lot of Rebecca players. Pick up your Sabos. Monkey D. Luffy is also very crucial to the list. This will also be expensive. I can't see it being too expensive, but Sabo will definitely be the most expensive. Everything else will be moderately priced or dirt cheap, especially after one week. The rest of the cards will be very, very cheap. So you can just pick up Rebecca, have a tier one deck right off the bat, and you'll be pissed chilling but pick up your Sabos and Luffy. If you can only get one for whatever reason, just get your Sabos and then slowly get your Luffys after because I can see Sabo maintaining a decent price and I can just see Luffy continuing to drop at some point. Okay, and to finish off the video, uh, Yellow, get some interesting stuff. Okay, obviously you have to pick up Capone Gang Beige. You have to pick up Sanji. Like, I don't even need to talk about these cards. These cards are very strong, especially if you're playing Queen. You need to get a playset of these. The next card, obviously Yamato. If you are playing um, Queen, you obviously want to get a playset of these. Not just because you're going to play four in Queen. You know, your ratios might be a little bit different. You might play three copies in Queen. But if you're thinking ahead, again, for Enel, a lot of people are going to be playing Enel because a lot of people think that Enel is S tier in OPO5. So Yamato will maintain her price, okay? Um, so... Uh, if anything, obviously, there'll be more cards on the market. She'll slightly drop, but then after some time, she will maintain her price. So if you want to play Queen Day 1, just pick up your Yamatos. You're going to need them, and it'll be a good investment. Um, and then, Katakuri decks, you know, you guys, I see some people playing Randolph. see some people playing Charlotte Perils Peril 6 cost because the Vanillas are very good stat lines for those decks. It gives you a little bit of something else to play on curve and things like that. So um, you can pick these up. Do you need these Day 1? No, because this card, these cards are going to be absolutely dirt cheap, right? These are just vanillas. Um, so you'll be able to pick them up for pennies on the dollar. I don't even know if that's how that saying goes, but it's going to be dirt cheap, okay? Um, it's going to be absolutely dirt cheap. But if you do want it for Charlotte Katakuri, if that's your main deck, you just want to augment your deck, even if you have to pay a dollar for them for a full play set day one, where maybe it's even 50 cents, um, then you just go ahead and just bite the bullet, right? You're not going to be spending that much money in comparison to other decks, other lists. So um, pick up those if you need it. Um, and then Charlotte, um, Amande, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Go ahead and pick up four copies of that. That will probably be the most expensive card that's not Yamato that you should pick up. So go ahead and pick up four copies of that. And that is everything, guys. So I broke it down color to color. I put timestamps. Hopefully, you guys could just jump into wherever you guys wanted to to get my explanation. But these are cards I recommend you have in your cart. Um, some of them more priority than others. But with that being said, I hope you guys can save some money. Let me know in the comment section below what singles you guys are buying day one. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.